you can still smell the smoke and see the debris. What's left of several little corner stores here off of Chestnut Street. The folks who live in this area say it's been a neighborhood staple. Caution tape lines what's left of this strip of stores in Highland Park's southern tip. The cause of an early morning three alarm fire. That set a vape shop and a convenience store on Chestnut Street ablaze for at least four hours is still unknown. This neighbor says she thinks it's electrical. When we were sleeping, we woke up and heard many sounds, hissing sounds. We didn't think much of it until we saw firefighters moving in quickly. We saw smoke coming from the windows and there was metal covering some of them. The debris, melted steel dripping down its exterior, metal twisted and tangled, draws in onlookers. It's crazy, right? They don't get no more damage from that, I don't suppose. Sean Wood. They yeah, can't get that from the ground. Wanted to see from up top. Hmm, they found it up good, too. His drone footage shows the roof sunken in. It's a total burnout from the inside of the building. We caught the store owner stopping by to assess the damage. I got big boys, they work in here and everything. Now they didn't have no job or nothing. It's about eight of us without job. It's really bad, really bad. I, I, I feel very bad. I don't know what to do. His patrons. So we frequent this place a lot. Are puzzled about how it happened. These people were some very good people. And like, like my homeboy said, you know, they was just start talking about opening a restaurant right there. So it's just kind of crazy how, you know, they got to start over. The church beside it is still somewhat intact. A signal to some praying for the store's return. I feel they should come together, you know, and help you know, uplift the community, because that's what it's ultimately doing. It's not something that's bad for the community, you know. It's right beside church. It can't be bad. Now, the business owner told us that he's planning on trying to rebuild this space, but of course, that will take time and likely thousands of dollars. In Richmond, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.